Good morning, film history class. Today is Friday, May 1st. Welcome to the last month of the school year. Uh, today is mostly an editing day. I'm gonna make a video. I have a little advice to give you. I wanna show you something in Premiere real quick, but then that's, that's pretty much it. It's just a day to edit. So today's May 1st, the last day of school for non-seniors is the 29th, I think. I don't know when the last day for seniors is. I think it's the week before. But, uh, so you have, depending on your senior or not, three or four weeks until the end of the school year. That gives you three or four weeks to finish this project. Um, the projects are focused for this last nine weeks, you know. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't finish the school year and watch all the other films that I wanted to watch, but this is pretty much it. I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. I'm trying to come up with you guys having, I don't know, 20 to 30 minutes worth of work each day to do in the class, which is far less than you would have done if you were actually in school. So, um, my advice to you is to, and I know this is, you're going to like roll your eyes, but not to procrastinate. Um, a lot of students, I think, are just kind of like doing what you guys inherently just do, which most people do, is just go, oh, I have time. I have four weeks at the end of the school year. I got plenty of time. I'll do it. But as I've taught online school for a long time, you know, four or five years while I've been teaching at Dixie, and... I would say the vast majority of the students who fail online school, which can become more complicated than traditional schooling, is they just procrastinate. They just wait. They wait until about here and then go, ah, oh, crap, school's over here in a week and a half. I better start doing things. And then they realize they just don't have time to do them. They've, they've run out of time. There's just not enough hours in the day to get things done. Uh, and then they fail. And then they then have all the excuses in the world of why they failed. Oh, I was having internet problems. And at that point, it's just too late, right? So please don't procrastinate. I'm only expecting you to work 20 to 30 minutes a day on your edit. And then if you do that, you'll be finished in plenty of time. Plus, we're going to critique a couple times between now and then. So it's not like every day is just going to be an editing day. So do not procrastinate. Advice number two, communicate. If you wait, it's that autocorrect is a communist. <laughs> um, communicate. If, if you wait until right here to say, hey, I don't have editing software, I'm going to say I don't care because um, I have alternatives for you. I mean, alternative editing software for you to use. If you say, well, I can't get Premiere, that's fine. You know, there's other editing software that you can get that are free online cloud-based and you don't have to download. Um, but you telling me I don't have software to do the project is not a get out of jail free card. You will not get an excused for the assignment. That's not going to happen. Don't just assume that's what's going to happen. Uh, so communicate with me if you're having any issues on the project, okay? Um, that's it. Please don't procrastinate. Please, please, please. And then also go back and do past work. Um, Florio built an entire week into your schedule to do that, and a lot of students didn't take him up on that offer. So, again, that's that thing. If you guys wait until this week to start taking your classes seriously, you're going to find that there's just not enough time because you have to go back and redo you know, four or five weeks worth of past in my class review and reflect forms or whatever else that you need to do. So, um, th th May is a brand new start, it's a new month. It's a new, um, and I'm, I'm sounding a little bit hippie here, but forgive me. It, it's a new month to kind of start new uh, habits and routines. So there's only a few weeks left of school. I would just say change course if things aren't working. If you're looking in Portal and you have a lot of not grades that you're happy with, then obviously what you're doing isn't working and you need to fix it. So uh, let me know. Communicate uh, with me, okay? Uh, in Premiere, this is what I want. Um, I don't want you guys to... And a lot of you guys are great in Premiere, and you know exactly what you're doing. Uh, and that's perfectly fine. And a lot of you guys don't. Um, so I'm going to spend just a minute walking through very, very basics here. Uh, part of online schooling is self-teaching in a way. You know, there's not your teacher in the classroom to walk you through exactly what buttons what, what buttons what. You, you'll need to rely on tutorials for much of the stuff, how to use software. Um, if you have questions to me, I'd absolutely help you walk through it. But if you're not reaching out to me, then you have to be willing to self-teach. So in Premiere, you have the project bin. You bring your stuff into here. You then drag it into your sequence, which is your timeline. And then you, play, you watch it on your program. That's pretty it. Okay. And obviously, there's more to it. But um, 
what I don't want you to do right now is I don't want you to worry about all of the nitty gritty of transitions and fades and the fonts that you want. I just want you to do a thing we call assemblage. I just want you to assemble everything, like a rough cut. So if this is my audio here. To Universal Studios Chairman Donna Langley in response to NBC Universal CEO Jeff Shell's statements in the Wall Street Journal this morning about the $95 million PVOD success of Trolls World Tour. Now that story, and if I'm hoping you could hear that, uh, AMC and Regal, two of the the largest um, theater chains in the country have kind of banned Universal Pictures, who make you know Fast and the Furious. They just made Trolls uh, from their theaters going forward. Well, actually, I think AMC banned them like forever. We'll never show another Universal, and then AMC and Regal kind of like did a half measure on not banning them. And the reason why was because Trolls was going to be a major release worldwide in, in, in theaters. Theater owners were going to make a ton of money. Well, theaters are closed right now, so Universal just did on demand. So maybe some of you guys at home actually rented Trolls to World Tour. I'm not really sure why, but okay, to each his own. Uh, and it made like $100 million. Well, remember we talked about this in class before. The th theater chains are dying. You know, Theaters rely on production companies to um, adhere to the traditional model. The traditional model is we release a movie in theaters, we wait six weeks, we then release it on for DVD, right? So that six weeks is when the theaters make all their money. Well, the theaters are closed, um, you know, like Universal doesn't uh, abide by that, that uh, traditional model anymore. They release it on demand. And so theater owners went, okay, well, we get it. You, you, AMC, Regal, they went, we get it. All theaters are closed right now. Go ahead, release it whatever. Then Universal said, hey, Trolls 2 made $100 million. Well, that's a really big deal because that's a lot of money. Now, when you release a movie in the theater, the production company does about a 60-40 split, meaning the production company, Universal, keeps 60% and the theaters, AMC Regal, keep 40%. But when you release it on demand directly, the split's more like 90-10. In some cases, 70-30. Either way, way better. So Universal saying, now, heck, why are, we, you know, in the future, we may go right to on-demand and skip theaters. And then theater companies have lost their collective minds. They have, I mean, AMC said, well, we're banning literally all Universal theaters or Universal pictures in our theaters going forward. No more ever. And then Regal said, uh, well, we're banning all movies that are going to go to straight to on-demand. So you can't do on-demand and, and theater release at the same time. So remember I told you that theaters were going to, they're kind of in their death knell. They're kind of like, you know, this is kind of the last waning years of theater. This is where it starts. It's something just like this where Universal puts out a movie on demand. It makes an incredible amount of money. They make way more money than they would have made if they would have just gone theatrical. And then all of a sudden they go, we're abandoning theatrical. We're only doing on demand. And you're probably going to start seeing that happening here pretty soon. So I'm making my documentary about that very thing. PVOD. There's my recording. Um, and then I have all of my stuff. Now, here's Universal there, uh, or this is AMC's press release about what Universal did. Now, do I want to leave it like this? No. I mean, like, it's a black background with a white image. That looks terrible. What do I want to do? Well, I probably want to put a white box behind it so that it's white on white so I don't see that black. And I also want to probably zoom in on this typography or scan the typography as I'm reading it. Something. But I don't want you to do that now. This is the nitty gritty stuff. I just want you to assemble. Well, I know in my documentary right here, I need this thing to last about this long. So we're good. And then after that, I immediately want to go to uh, this picture. And then I'm also going to kind of, and I need it to go to like right there as well. So maybe this, I'll make this a little smaller so that way, you know, it fits on the screen. But I'm not going to do anything like terribly creative with it. I'm just putting it there. And I'm just filling up my documentary full of all these resources. Okay? That's it. That's all you should be doing right now is assembling. 
uh, dragging in documents, adding the videos. You don't do sound design. Don't do um, don't do any transitions, effects, color, anything. Just bring everything in, and that's it. Later on, we'll go through, and then in each daily video, I'm going to throw show you how to do one more kind of like cool transition or cool coloring effect or cool this to make it look and sound better. Okay, but so today we are just assembly. Good, I hope that's helpful. Um, make sure you do the review and reflect question. Please go back and do the review and the reflect questions if you did not do them in the past. If you look on the review and reflect form directly below the form are every single past question. So you can just go and do them now. Um, let communicate with me if you're having issues with software. Any questions, let me know. Have a great day. Take care. Bye, guys.